Hello screen friends, Call of Duty has just done what they have done best and they have put a very good gun behind a very long weekly unlock challenge. Lucky for you, it is my job to play this game and post content so you can learn about things. The gun itself is called the Tack Eradicator. That's right, I have a flashlight on this. No zombies are sneaking up on me and it looks a lot like a Tack 56, but it is actually a light machine gun. I should add with like, with not a lot of recoil. So this is gonna be really fun to use. I have it level, let me tell you. I have it a level 14 out of 22, meaning I think I can actually max this in a single game Game of zombies. I put my head up closer to here. It almost looks like I have bunny ears. Hold on. <laughs> I'm a rabbit. Gotta move that down, otherwise people will be upset. Okay, if you saw yesterday's episode, you know that I got some good things finally. Today I'm gonna be parlaying those good things into getting more good things at risk of oversimplifying it. Yeah, that's the plan. Ugh, almost forgot the most important detail of all. Gotta slap on a double weapon XP for one hour. Now we drop in, confirm mission. I still have to kill a mercenary with my energy mind. It's just one single mercenary. It's really annoying, but we're gonna get that done too. We have spawned over 11 resort with our fancy pantsy gun in hand. Now let me do my deeds and just drink all my energy drinks. I've been very thirsty. We're gonna make this an epic gun. We're just gonna pack it right away. Pop my speed cola, put on my shatter blast, and then sure, why not? Let's just use it all. So everyone's first question, how many rounds does it have when you pack a punch it? Uh, it has 150. There is a 150 round mag base that I just don't have unlocked yet, but I feel like an absolute god out here. This is with, okay. Oh, Orby. I don't really need to waste my time with this, but Orby is a good friend of mine, so I just wanted to play with him. I'm genuinely not scared of anything out here. I think we should just go in and do a contract immediately. I just want to see how much it gives me because I feel like he's getting weak. Yes, we got it done. Orby died so we may live on. Shatter Blast Ammo Mod. I, I just equipped that. That's really unfortunate. Right, we're going to go in and do a couple contracts pretty much right away. There's a speed run right there. I would like to go get it. Oh, that's right. I have a Juggernaut on too. I'm recording this just after I posted the last one, so I haven't heard from all the zombie aficionados, I think I'll call you. Yeah, the zombie Illuminati. That's better, it rhymes. I haven't heard exactly the best way to use my Juggernaut, but I know it's hard to come by, so I don't want to use it yet. Last time I was in the red zone, I saw like a mega abomination. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this car and go in. That's right, I'm a fucking bunny. I put that skin on thinking, haha, that's funny, I'll just change it whenever I want, and then I realized, no, you actually, you can't change those things, Sally. So this gun has me a little bit Concerned isn't the right word because I have it unlocked, but worried for how they're gonna be doing these weekly unlock challenges in the future. On the surface, it seems like, oh, that's neat. It's just like something to do every single week. You have something to grind for, but really all it is is a way for them to increase their daily active play time. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind. If you're playing the game a lot and you're getting good, you should probably be rewarded for it. Even if you're not getting good, honestly. If you're just playing the game a lot, that's kind of cool. Also, if you're new here, whenever we pick up a contract, we go beep bop boop and beep beep and scream as loud as I want. My wife isn't home. Now let's go get this done and also kill a couple mercs with my energy mine and decoy no 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 you don't want me you want the decoy they take a long time to go off there we go that should do it right finally oh random perk neat oh no 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 uh oh bad 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 oh fuck me fuck me guys decoy i threw it out not how i wanted to start the video at all I wish you just opened both garage doors up, you know? I don't have another self-revive. The stakes have just been raised. I have, like, good things, and I don't want to lose them. I also have no armor plates, so... Yeah, we'll see how this goes, guys. I'm a big fan of self-preservation and would really enjoy not dying in the first five minutes of this video. I haven't even gotten to explain to you the wrinkles that this gun possesses. You just better hope whoever I kill here has armor, because I gotta go hit an ammo stash to get more decoys, because I'm out of those, and I don't want to panic use my juggernaut, but I will. Uh-oh, I have a flat tire. We're just gonna have to keep driving with it. I don't think I can get out to, yeah. This is getting like really sketchy. This is a lot harder to drive than I thought with a flat tire. What's up, Orby? Protect me. You have to like really get right on it, huh? Self-revive, two of them, and a dead shot daiquiri. Let's go, level 16. Any of these things have plates in them. I could really go for some of those. Of course not. Whenever you need them, the plates are no, I lied. I think that was a lie that I just said because there's plates everywhere. Plates are plentiful. Now let's go find another one of those 
contracts. There's another one closer. I'm gonna go to that. It's actually right there, right by the irradiation zone. So I'm doing contracts in here because you get a better chance of getting schematics or just better things. Boy, did I need those self-revives. This, yeah, would have been pretty upset. I do wanna do a video. See that disciple in there? I probably did the zoom for you. If you kill them, they drop you a bunch of really good things. Now, let me clear my throat before we do that. <clears throat> Beep -ba -boop -ba. I'm also gonna go over to the, see this ammo stash on the mini map. If I didn't zoom, just trust me that it's there so I can get decoys because I'm gonna need them here in a second. My gun is still, like, it's not bad, but it's not in a place that I would like it. Like, I don't, oh, I had a decoy, whatever. It's not exactly in a place that I like it at the moment. Going back to that disciple there in the gas, uh, actually, if you run him over with, uh, shoot, I still forgot the name of it. The motorcycle that's made out of essence or whatever word it is. Now be gone, zombies. I have a contract to do. Uh-oh. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Let me get in my car. I'm out. Wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> they got absolutely finessed. But if you run over that disciple in the very beginning of the ether storm, every time I do this, literally every time I do this contract, I almost accidentally drive this car through the red zone. I see it on my mini map and I'm like, all right, well, that's the way I gotta go. And then I go into an area early in the game that I'm completely and utterly unequipped to handle. What I need to do instead is take this bridge that is clearly meant for trains with this car. Great news is that after I'm done with this contract, if this car is still in good enough shape too, we can just go back and punch this gun and then I can run around the orange zone with complete reckless abandon. Last this episode definitely featured some of the best loot I've ever gotten. I believe the lingo is the best run I've ever had, which is great because, um, believe it or not, by looking at me, you'd never guess it, but I'm not much of a runner. I'm just gonna decoy these guys so I don't... Oh, down, puppy. Okay. What do we get? Depth perception and a three plate. Not great. I think my goal for this game is gonna be to do a bounty contract in the red zone. I've never done it before. You're a tier three zombie, though, and yeah, my gun is just simply not good enough to go in there yet. Look at this little helmet roll. Where's a pack and punch machine? Am I closer to any other one? No, we gotta go all the way over there. That's kind of actually around where that motorcycle is. If I find it, we're gonna go into that storm, kill the disciple, then go into the red zone. Choo choo, I'm a train. Wow, okay. This is actually going pretty fast. Let's do something reckless, huh? Oh, that, that made my car take absolutely no damage. That's hilarious to me. What, these zombies set up a blockade here? Wait, they actually did. Doesn't matter. I'm in a light terrain vehicle. I think it's tactical vehicle. I don't know. Someone will correct me in the comments. You guys always do. Someone always tells me without fail, whenever I'm doing these things, they're like, if you melee the pack-a-punch machine, it keeps your camo. And I'm like, yeah, but that just gets really confusing for me and I feel like I'd forget. So I, I won't be doing that, but our camo's about to change. Hey, it's the invasion map that I hate. Ta-da! All right, I found this little vehicle so- oh, that's a bummer. I found that motorcycle somewhere over here. It was like just inside. Maybe it was marked as an ATV. Do we go investigate it? I kind of want to. Do you guys want to take a little field trip with me? Never missed a throwing knife in my life. That was definitely not the ATV though. It was just kind of hanging around. It was actually, I think it was like right there. I'm sure someone makes a beeline for it every single game. Uh oh, this car's gonna run out of gas. We gotta get in another car and then do another contract. Let's see, what's by me? We can just do a quick a bounty contract. contract. These are always much quicker than anything else. I've also heard that if you melee your car, the car alarm goes off and it acts just like a decoy. The more you know, right? Speaking of decoys, might as well stop here, grab some more. Okay. Oh, cash register. I'm actually gonna need money. Told you, never miss a throwing knife. I'm feeling some more beeps and bops and boops coming. Beep bop. Boop. Now we go over to this bounty symbol and we kill it. Wow, this car is really fast, but handles so poorly. I kind of feel like those two things are correlated, huh? Something, something inertia. P equals N times V. Didn't retain a lot from physics, but I do remember that. I'm trying to keep this car in decent shape so that we can go do a bounty in the red zone. There's my mangler friend. Don't shoot my car. I told you, I'm trying to keep it nice. He's gonna die pretty quick, I think. But this guy like still hasn't woken up. Anytime, anytime your arm's ready to break, I'm ready to break it. Oh, I had to reload. I was hoping I could get that done in just one. Neato, what did I get this time? Please be a schematic. Three, two, oh, we level it up again. Okay, now we look. Didn't get it. We got PHC flopper. Boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, beep, bop, boop, bop. You guys ever find yourself like needing to go do something in this game, but then you're like, but there are zombies here and I want to shoot them because I think about that a lot. All right, so back to this gun. Oh, this is the Mimic, huh? He's gonna pick me up and then throw me further away, which I was once scared of and someone pointed out. It's actually a good thing because then you get some range on the Mimic and now he's dead. 
I got faux flopper and a precision airstrike, but I keep ranking it up. Okay, contracts seem like the wave. I've kind of done like basically every single contract you can do around here. Actually, a lot of contracts left in the red zone. All right, so our car health is good. However, our car gas situation has been better. See, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Like, I saw that. I had my bounty tagged already, and I was like, you know what? I should probably just go up and get that. It's what, 500 essence? Yeah, that makes sense. That's a quarter of a contract. I feel like it's worthwhile. And now, once we get this done, this should be close to getting enough money to just go and pack this gun in the red zone. And good news, we can exchange our car for a fresh one. I just committed Grand Theft Auto, and I have a plate stuck in my window. <laughs> As we now make this very long, arduous voyage, I would say, yeah, I'm really off-roading here in this my little sedan, my Kia Sorento. The support on this channel has been really wild. This is a, such a weird time for uploading because, like, Modern Warfare 3 comes out, but the more I play multiplayer, the more I want to put my head through a concrete wall. So I was like, yeah, let's just do some zombie stuff on the second channel. Kind of took a break-ish from uploading on the main. And you guys just have just really, really blown it up. And that's cool. And I thank you for that. Now we do the beep bops, the boop boops, the thank yous. Everybody back off. I'm a bunny on a mission who needs to put on armor plates before he does it this time. Decoy, armor plates, I'm out of here. Now this guy's gonna come over here on my right hand side. He's gonna be like, uh oh, bad news, mate. They just sent out a helicopter. Oh, that's not good. There's a helicopter guy. I just, every time I lag in this, I freak out a little bit. By the way, however this game ends, I always end with a lot of cash. If you've been watching this series of videos, you know exactly what we do with it. I should answer this. Yeah, they're coming. I'm just gonna do it. What's that? If I die, I die. I die because I did the right thing. I gotta drive this perfectly now. I just did a good deed. Is it gonna go punished or unpunished? I gotta be able to outrun this helicopter. Not hit these zombies. Thread the needle, Sally. Let's go! Oh, I've never been so happy to see my own helicopter in my life. Oh, there's already one here. That's funny. Warning, critical damage. We got there. They're both on their last leg. Juggernaut can already have one. There's a bounty contract that we are going to do on our way to the red zone because we almost have enough to pack a bunch of this gun to level trace. I could also just do this and maybe we skip it. First, I got to go over to this ammo stash because if I'm going in the red zone, I'm going to need like full things. So we're going to stow that. We're going to do that. Run away. I can't outrun a hellhound, can I? do that. Now we go to this bounty. Wait, it didn't give me decoys out of that because I had one stowed. I don't like that. I think I have just about every single perk you can possibly have on. So that's a good start. We've done a fair amount of contracts now and I have not received any fancy schematics. I almost accidentally dropped my decoy. I also do that once a game and I'm really making an effort not to have that happen. Hidden stash. Another self-revive. Might as well. It also told me to do the circuits like the, the whatever guns. So I have a circuit turret that I would like to activate. Level 20. Wow. You know, I I think it probably has something to do with the fact that I just keep doing contracts like an absolute madman. Every single contract I do just feels like an absolute roll of the dice. Oh, by the way, here's the mangler. Are you my boy? Yeah, you are. Break his arm. Break it. Break the arm, walk away. Actually, hide behind a wall and plate is what I do instead. Now we shoot him in the head. Can I get it done in this magazine? That's always, that's always the question, isn't it? Yeah, we can. Let me kill these two guys, and then we're going to find out what kind of goodies we got. Hmm... I already have that. Do I need two self-revives? No. All right, if you direct your attention to the mini-map, you see that red part of town? That's where we are headed. Now, last time I was in there, I saw, I think I said at the top, a mega abomination. Not entirely sure what made them spawn, but I hope it's not there this time. Like, like I really do. Um, hmm. How do we want to play this? I mean, I got to go pack it right away. That's for sure. There's also an escort contract that if I go and get, but then cancel... I can maybe get a speed run out of it. A deliver cargo, sorry. But first things first, definitely need to pack a punch this gun to have any type of fighting chance. Still only one decoy. My mines are not at full strength. All in all, maybe not the best position to be in. But for now, we have our health, we have each other, and we have hope. Now let's see how good it is. You know, not the worst. We're going to make our way over there, and then we are going to cancel the contract. Can I get a revive, please? Who did I just revive? Let me reload this quick, and let's just test it out. How good is it against these guys? Not bad. Oh, I could have just taken a zip line. Would have been useful, huh? It's too bad. It's too late. We just got to go. Where's this turret while I'm here? Oh, it's on the roof. Okay. Oh, fuck me. 
I don't know what those things do, guys. I don't, but I really desperately do not want to find out. So I'm taking the incredibly long way around. Anything good in here? Oh, fuck. Marking contract. Oh, of course it's on, on the roof, so I gotta go all the way around and see this mega abomination. Something tells me this juggernaut that I have is actually very good for that, but now we go here. We hit accept. We do all oh, he's right there. Oh, fuck me. Now I gotta open my tech map and cancel that contract and somehow stay alive for the next long time. Slowly but surely, I am running out of armor plates. I have three left at the moment. Uh-oh. Now I have no plates left. I think it might be time to stand and fight here. We gotta do that so I can go and get things. Like, plates. Wait, someone keeps telling me that the orb, like, kills enemies around me? Like, Orby's actually a good guy? Oh, the abomination! Why does he keep following me around? It's really uncool. I think I'm just, re re like, honestly scared of the red zone. But, like, I'm feeling okay. HyperX, are you the headphone company? No, you're not dead. Got it. Now, let's see if this contract respawned yet. It did not. I kind of want to do that turret, though. Just so I, like, n know about him. No fucking way there's another disciple over here. The way it was described to me is that you just gotta wait, like, two minutes and then the contract comes back. If not... Oh my god, it's right there. Contract mark. I know I said I wanted to do the turret because I wanted to know about it. This is far more important. This is my first red zone contract ever. I have two decoys. That's all I'm gonna need. I think. I hope. I know someone said driving around in the red zone is tough. And yeah, we're about to find out just how tough. Ah! I looked away for one second. Guy scared the shit out of me. Uh oh. They said to try to not run over zombies, so I'm gonna try to do just that. Hey, good job, Sal. I imagine the helicopter is also much better. See, here's my issue I just have so little experience in this zone. You're fucking kidding me. I don't know where I'm going. And this contract is going to fail. There's absolutely no way. I have no more plates. See if the melee thing works. I have a decoy. I'm gonna need to throw that right away. I swear to God, they know when I don't have plates. And they're like, guess what we're not gonna give you? Any more of them. Okay, never mind. I lied. They gave me more of them. Oh, the abomination's coming. Oh, no. Any more contracts that I can do? I feel like I could maybe got get away with the spore control and use that turret. I'm gonna try it. No, I don't want to get caught on scaffolding. Like, at all. This is not going well. I'm dead center. Oh, shit. I feel like I should leave. Please shoot the, shoot me up in the air. Oh, it teleports me somewhere. Well, there's a turret here, so let's climb this and do it. I'm trying to just deposit this, but they keep... Are you fucking kidding me? I'm running for my life. Like, actively sprinting for it. Like, how did I think this was gonna go? You know? Oh, neat. This looks like a cool building. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, I think I need to admit defeat. Orby, where were you this whole time, man? I'm gonna kill him so that we can get more essence to get a ray gun from a mystery box. Maybe Orby's gonna give me something good. Not really. A purple RPG. Just because I'm curious. No scope. Just kidding, it automatically aims in. Alright, so this gun is now max level. So the important thing that we need to do the rest of this game, number one, put on this plate. Yes, thank you, I heard you in the comments. But number two is see what we can get out of our mystery box without the bunny freaking showing up. Beep bop boop bop beep bop boop. I'm so defeated after that driving incident. I still don't have decoys anymore, but that's okay. I think I should be good in this zone. Let me in! See? Orange Zone has just nice, beautiful highways. I just fucking did it again. I just went into the red zone. Now I don't know if I can get this done. 
I can't fail two contracts in one game. That's just embarrassing. No other way to put it. But I think it might happen. We're gonna give this the old college try, that's for sure. Thankfully, whoever is the gunner in this helicopter, I think if there was a barn and they gave him the broadside, they couldn't even hit it. I'm trying to drive this so well, but I still have, what, 400 some meters left? I'm sure they're gonna hit me once or twice. I should just stick to doing bounties or spore control, spawn control. This is gonna be a real tight one. Usually I like to run over zombies because it's fun, but now I can't. Well, I mean, we can run these guys over. They're always a good time. Just got it there. Guys, shut up. Let me get my reward. I worked hard for that. All right, everyone, say it with me. Schematic. No, seriously, like, say it out loud. Schematic. I'll wait. It's fine. Schematic. Raw Ethereum Crystal. Okay. Where is the storm? Right there. Okay, so it's gonna go somewhere around 11, right where I started. So, in the meantime, don't we go try to gamble in 20 seconds because that's when, as soon as the storm starts closing, your odds go way up. And then we also have enough to pack a punch a mystery weapon if we are lucky enough to get one on the first couple tries. It is closed. Let's go do the damn thing. We've gotten both of the other wonder guns, the wonder weapons. What we haven't gotten, as a lot of you know, is a ray gun. Until right now, until this very exact moment. Please, guys, not now. I'm kind of in the in a moment here. What I meant was until right now. How can everyone? I'm just doing that. Fuck it. Everyone gets sucked. No! Until right now. Until right now. Please. Well. We're gonna have to find a different one. I do want to try one thing, because up on this bridge here, there was a mercenary thing. That bridge, sorry, this bridge. That's where I found this juggernaut, and I think I found another schematic in a crate up there. I want to know if it's like, always oh, spawns there. And I think it's kind of on my way out of town, so let's go check it out, huh? I think it'll actually be quicker if I just go up here and fly off. I have the basically the best gun that I could possibly have, so I'm still gonna approach this with a bit of caution. A bit. I wouldn't say too much, just some. In fact, it's the, oh, it's not crazy good one this time. Maybe we do one more cargo delivery, just for old time's sake. I obviously suck at them so much. I know there's a mystery box out by Levin Resort, and I've done this one before. Beep, ba da ba ba boop ba ba Aiming downside is for suckers. By the way, this gun, um, after using it for a whole game, and maybe you've realized after watching it for a while, it's pretty good. Now, where is it gonna send me? Okay, I was hoping it wasn't gonna send me, like, right up to the storm, and I don't think it is. I feel like I'm definitely speeding and not obeying traffic laws here, but that's okay. Anyone know what that says? I'm also gonna try to keep this car in decent shape, because I think I'm going to need it to get out of here. Yeah! Fuck, that wasn't smart. Let's go bowling. Last contract of the game. What's it gonna be? Now, I know you weren't saying anything last time because I didn't get a schematic. So I'd like for you to chant it one more time. It gives me great pleasure to know that I can make people say things through a screen. I bet not all of you said it, but I bet there's one person who said the word schematic. If you're watching by yourself, thank you. If you're watching with other people and people can hear you talking, double thank you. Now, what are we gonna get? We got one! My wife's calling me. I gotta pick that up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, they have just called Final Exfil. I am now off the phone with my good, lovely, amazing wife. We are gonna take our $12,000 and invest it in a mystery box. We didn't get the schematic we were looking for, but we got a schematic, and I feel like at the end of the day, that's okay. I am gonna try something, though, to boost our luck, and I am going to open this one in third person, so let me move my camera, because I think sometimes my bunny ears just mess with it. Here we go. I saw the ray gun. Oh my fucking god! Yeah! Third person is the way to do it! Now we run over here and pack a punch it. Obviously, I gotta hit a quick little thumbnail, right? There's not really a super big rhyme or reason why I wanna pack a punch this gun. I just know that you can't. Whoa, the reload's cool. I like it. Pack a punch ray gun! Now I know I can't take it with me, and that makes me sad, but it just feels nice to have it in my hands, you know? Oh, get wrecked. I don't, yeah, I really don't think you guys understand how much joy this is bringing me. I gotta get a thumbnail with this one, too. I love it. Could literally do this all day. All right, time to get on my helicopter. But I think we should get out of here in style. What do you guys say? And away we go. Oh, oh my God. Another good run. I feel pretty good about that. And I feel pretty good about this gun being good in zombies and in war zone. Yeah, it's like Tactics 6, but an LMG. What could go wrong? As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow.